Hello everyone, Dumpster Dolly here. Please forgive me, I have, I have no idea with what to do with what's on my head right now. I lost my straightener and it's, it's just all this big mess. So anywho, today I'm doing a jack o lantern -y look for my Halloween tutorial. I'm wearing circle lenses for this. They're Geo Bella Grey. Um, I will put the link for them down in the description for those of you who are interested in buying them. Obviously they're not necessary for this look, but I think it makes it look a lot more creepy. So anyways, it's very simple, it's easy to do. Um, you can do it with pretty much the makeup you have or just with some face paint. I'll get more into it as I do the tutorial for you. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Before I start my makeup, I put in my contacts. Again, they're Bella Grey by Geo, and they can be found on PinkyParadise.com. I use my concealer pot, number one by Coastal Scents, and a cream shadow brush to conceal my eyebrows. If you have real eyebrows, I recommend you use glue stick to cover them, or just leave them natural if you want. I then set the concealer with a loose powder. Then I apply a base by Essence to enhance the eyeshadow I'll be applying. After that dries, I use NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk to line my eyes and blend it out a little bit with my finger. This makes the black look much darker. I press a black eyeshadow by Wet n Wild all around my eyes with a crease brush. Then I take a smaller flat brush and define my bridge with more black eyeshadow. With a clean blending brush, I blend the black until it creates a smooth transition. I tight line my eyes with a twist up pencil eyeliner by Bonnie Bell. Take the same flat brush and sketch a sharp line going down my nose, then I add more black and carefully blend it out. Do the other eye the exact same way, and I'll meet you back when we do the rest of the face. With the same flat brush, I cut my cheeks a little higher up than I normally would, I darken the area below the line and draw more black lines going down, if that makes sense. Um, you don't have to blend this out too, too much, as I find it goes more with the overall sketchy look. And then I do the other side and try to match it as best I can. on the shape of both the nose and the mouth with white eyeliner so it's easier if I need to correct mistakes. I'm going to be using a tube of simple black face paint to fill in the shapes and I'll be using q-tips to apply it. You can easily replace this with a black pencil eyeliner if you don't have any face paint on hand. lines with a black pencil eyeliner, also filling in any spots that I missed. Thank you. 
After I'm done with the pencil eyeliner, I go over with another layer of face paint and then some black eyeshadow. Then I repeat the same process with the nose. I used more black eyeshadow and an angled liner brush to draw some sketchy lines around my mouth. These don't have to be perfect, but do pay attention to what you're doing as they have to have a certain movement to them. It's kind of hard to explain, but hopefully seeing me do it will help you guys. blending brush to make the lines a little bit less liney. <laughs> Finally, to finish off the eyes to make them look nice and angry, I use a pencil eyeliner to draw some little lines and then I go in again with the angled liner brush. Finally, I blend that out, and I guess this look is done. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I really enjoyed doing it, and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.